Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we're gonna use the Cricut Joy and make an iron-on project. So we're gonna make an iron-on t-shirt. This is a great project for beginners. So it's super simple, really cute. It's a new SVG that I've designed. Go down into the description below and grab the SVG and we'll even craft together. So if you've not hit that subscribe button yet, I hope you will and join me every week for new videos. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you what we're up to and then we'll go over to the craft table and we'll put it all together. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I've just opened up a new canvas and I've named it Prayer Warrior T-Shirt. So this is my design that I have in the description down below. So just hop down and grab that. If you don't know um, how to upload designs to Cricut Design Space, I'm linking above a short video that I put on YouTube um, to show you how to do that. And it's gonna talk to you for a minute or so about the difference between an SVG and a PNG. So just make sure and hop up and, and watch that. But if you know how to do that, go ahead and upload your design. And then the next thing you wanna do is you want to measure your T-shirt. You wanna know how large you want this design to be on your particular shirt. So if you click on my design, um, right now it's 8.3 inches by 3.1. So I like mine to be about eight inches to eight and a half inches across. So this design or this size is actually perfect for my t-shirt. So just again, measure yours and make sure that it works. Um, the other thing I wanna show you about this particular design is I put a shadow behind Warrior. Um, I wanted to be able to do a two-tone color there, so we're actually gonna layer iron on. Um, but if you don't want that, and you just wanted the, the lighter font, you can always turn that off. Um, and then of course you can change Warrior um, to be a different color if you wanted to. And the way that you would do that is you would just click on Warrior and then go up into colors and change it there. Okay, so I want to do all of those, so I'm gonna keep it together. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and I have the Joy already marked and it's connected, so we're gonna select Make It. So at this point, it gives you the option to go without a mat, which is smart materials. I love smart materials. I don't have them in this particular color. Um, so I'm gonna go with on mat. Okay, and so then um, what I wanna do at this point is I want to cut out both of these. Now these are iron-on, so guys, you have to select mirror. Otherwise, your design's gonna be like backwards. <laughs> you're gonna cut it out and you're gonna be so excited and then it's gonna be backwards. Okay, so at this point we will set our material and we again are using um, traditional iron-on with the mat and all of these that pop up are smart materials. So we wanna go to browse materials and then we're just going to um, go down to iron-on and we are using an everyday for this particular project. So we're gonna click everyday and done and then we'll go on over and put that material on the mat and cut it. Now when you go to the next screen in this pink here, what you're going to do is you'll hit edit in the corner and it will allow you to mirror it so you don't have to like close it out and go back. Okay, so let's go over to the craft table and I'll show you how to put this on the mat. Okay, so here we are on the craft table and I have my Cricut Joy and I have my Joy mat, I have my weeding tool, two types of iron-on, my t-shirt, and I'm probably gonna use my um, straight edge cutter just because I usually cut my iron-on and my vinyl with it just to make sure that I'm not wasting any material. And I also have um, my Easy Press um, and my Easy Press mat, which is what I'm gonna use to put my design on my t-shirt. Okay, so let's clear this stuff out of the way and I will um, show you quickly how to cut the appropriate amount of material and put it on the mat. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this really quickly. So there are two lengths of mats um, with the Cricut Joy. Um, you can cut up to 20 feet for those of you who've read that or seen that, but that is on smart vinyl. For the mats, there's two lengths of mats. There's a 12 inch and there is a six inch. And so today, because our design is roughly about eight and a half or eight and three quarter inches, we are going to use this 12 inch. And it's a light grip. This is a light grip mat. The green one was a standard grip and then there's another one that's purple that is a strong grip um, but for this we're gonna the light grip works fine because this everyday is very um, thin um, material and so it's gonna work great with the light grip 
Okay, so let's go ahead and cut out what we need. So we're first gonna use the blue and I need basically one and a half by nine. Okay, so I like to save um, all of my pieces and parts and I will attach a lot of them with a rubber band and sometimes I put them in little Ziploc bags just to make sure that I have them all together. But this is the smallest piece. I'm actually wondering if this is not gonna be perfect. I love this cutter because it has a ruler both directions. This one actually flips out um, for longer pieces. But let's see, this is, oh wow. This one's one and a half or just over one and a half. And let's see how long it is. Oh wow, and it's just over nine. So this is actually a scrap piece from another project and it's gonna work great for this. So we can put this away, grab our mat. I love using scraps because then I feel like it did not waste a thing. Okay, and so then remember, <laughs> we are cutting iron on, so we're gonna place it back up or shiny side down. Put that on our mat. And you can use your fingers or you can use a scraping tool and make sure that there's no bubbles. Okay, and then we will bring back out our joy. Super simple. I love how lightweight this thing is and you can just pull it around, so simple. And it's already blinking, so that means that it's ready to load. And it's going to pull the mat all the way in. Now with Smart Vinyl, it's actually going to measure your material and make sure that you have enough. But with the mat, it's just like with an Explorer or a Maker, it's literally just checking the length of the mat. This time it's just making sure that you have this, the 12 inch mat instead of the six. Okay, and with the Joy, remember there are no buttons, so you have to go to your mobile device or to your desktop and select Go. Okay, so the cut is complete and we've selected Unload. So now we're going to load on the next color, uh, which is the pink, and then we'll do the exact same process and cut that out, and I'll show you how to weed those, and we will put those on our T-shirt. Okay, so we've cut our blue and now we're back to our pink. And what we wanna do is go down to this little green edit and then we want to select mirror. Okay, now we hit done. And now we're ready to go back to our machine and load our pink material. Okay, so now we've cut our pink. One thing about taking things off the mat, guys, is make sure that you bend the mat and not the material. Okay, so now we're off the mat, and now what we need to do is weed our um, iron-on out. So if you have good eyes, you can just go ahead and start weeding um, all the designs, or if you feel like you need some help, you could use a bright pad. They've been on sale lately for like $49. I'll put some links down below, um, but the bright pad is, is just basically like this really cool backlit um, tablet that allows you to be able to weed really easily. Um, but if you can see, and some colors are harder than others. Actually, I have pretty good eyes and these colors are a little difficult, um, but you can find an edge. And that was my easy press beeping, letting me know that it's ready. But you can find an edge and start pulling that up and just weeding out all of the negative space. And if it gives you, um, instead of crinkling your design, whenever you have a pull like that, grab a pair of scissors and just cut it away. Get up underneath there, you can cut it. There we go. And so see now it's just pulling away super easy. Okay, so now I have weeded both of my designs and I'm really excited about these colors and how this is gonna turn out. But I also um, wanted to show you, I have my t-shirt, I have my Easy Press mat, I have my Easy Press for 100% cotton t-shirt and this everyday iron-on. I needed to preheat it to 315 and for 30 seconds. And I will give you guys a link to the guide down in the description below. Um, so you can hop down and see that for whatever type of t-shirt you chose. But basically what we wanna do at this point is we need to take a ruler and 
make sure that we are centering everything on our t-shirt just perfectly. So 15 inches and the middle point for that would be seven and a half. Which, okay, so this is a lesson to you guys. All t-shirts, seven and a half, whenever you look at that, is kind of off center of the cent, you know, this V in the t-shirt. So what I would say is go off of the V because let's face it, it could be perfect on either side, but if it's off center and this is such a visual element, then it's gonna look like the whole thing's off center, even though you're like, well, I measured it. So what I wanna do though, is I want to sort of overlay this and just make sure that it's gonna fit and it's gonna look right. Maybe we'll pick that up just a little because I really want that V to fall between the A and the Y. Um, it's somewhat of an optical illusion. Okay, here we go. So that looks really good. So now what I need to do though, is we have to put on the bottom um, piece first. We have to put Warrior on first, and then we'll have to remove the backer, and then we'll have to put the overlay on. Okay, so again, 315, 30 seconds. We're gonna take our Easy Press. We're gonna lay it over the entire design. Gentle pressure and we're gonna select start. Okay, now we wanna lift straight up and place it back on its cradle. Okay, and now what we wanna do, and be careful with this guys, because this is hot, okay? So we need to allow this to cool um, a little bit, and then once that's cool, then we'll be able to peel that off. And then once that's done, what we'll do is we'll place this over top. Make sure that you wait the appropriate amount of time. I mean, wait till this cools some and then peel it. You always peel from a corner and then we'll lay this over on it and just be careful with your placement and then we'll do this whole process again. Now, I always recommend that you um, flip your t-shirt over and do the heat on the opposite side as well. Okay, we're gonna flip that back over. We're gonna allow this to cool. And then we will layer our iron on. Okay, so now it's time to do the peel. Peel from the corner. If anything pulls up and acts like it's not going to adhere to the shirt, just lay it back down and do it again. And guys, go slow with this. We're in no rush. We want our t-shirt to be perfect. Okay, fantastic. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take our design and lay the next piece on top, making sure that you are right in the center all the way over. Not just one letter is perfect, but they're all perfect. Okay, and then we'll take our easy press excited about how this is going to turn out. So pretty. Okay, and so don't forget to repeat that process on the back side of the shirt just to make sure everything's set really well. And then again, angle, peel it off at an angle, going very slow, making sure everything is attaching the way that it should. I love it. I'm glad I chose to not layer the warrior in the prayer. I think it looks really good this way. So I'm excited about how it turned out and I can't wait to wear it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed making that t-shirt. I hope you loved how simple it was. It's so easy to make just the perfect t-shirt or onesie or toad or anything like that that you wanna make with the iron on and the Cricut Joy. So hop down in the description below and get that SVG. And I also put links down there for all the products that we use today in case there's anything that you're in need of, a joy. <laughs> And I hope you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and join me every week for new videos. I'll see you guys next time.